hello guys welcome to a new video and in this video we are going to practice some more some more of the um, OSPF and in the video before what I did was um, I did I just in a topic on OSPF so I fully explained the DR and the BDR which is a um, designated router and the backup designated router and I also did a topic on OSPF and I explain it, the entire OSPF process, and how it works and all that. And during that, I did a couple of, um, um, examples so you guys can see how it works and how it doesn't work when you um, do not configure properly. So you'll, if you haven't seen that, go ahead and take a look at that. Also, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, go ahead and do so. I believe I have over 90 videos right now. Okay, as of January 5 or January 5th of 2019, I have over 90 videos on the ICND2 season 8 topic. So go ahead and take a look at my channel. And if you like what you see, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. And if you have a Twitter account, I'm um, go ahead and follow me on Twitter at season 8 daily tips. And if you do not have a Twitter account, Go ahead and make one and still follow me. Look at that. 402 followers. That's nice. And also let me give a shout out to my latest subscribers. So shout out to my boy Network Bro. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. Um, the other one, um, Impact Forever. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. And another one was Rafiko Islam. Thank you for subscribing to my channel, man. And if you have any questions, just go ahead and comment on this video below okay let's go ahead and start with this video <laughs> so what we're going to configure we're going to configure this network as you can see right here we are going to first of all I always forget sorry for that guys make it this bigger so you guys can see it make this 10 make this 10 uh, make this 9 that should be good all right so I have this network over here I'm going to be running OSPF. As you can see, I already have the IP addresses and all that. I haven't configured anything yet. And I'm going to have multi area OSPF. Okay, so I'm going to have area 0, which is the backbone of OSPF, and area 1 over here. And the way that I'm going to configure is I want this for area 1. I want this one to be the DR and this one to be the backup designated router. And this one over here, area zero. Um, let's see, I think I did this wrong. Uh, yeah, I did. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to let's go ahead and delete that. And then I'm going to do it um, when I'm done. Yeah, when I'm done, I'm going to do it. So let's go ahead and start configuring this. And if we have the. Um, if we, if we want this package or activity, it's go, I'm going to add it to the um, description below so you guys can download it so you don't have to do all this. Okay, so let's go ahead to router zero. Let's say no. Now we'll config, config T. Config T. Let's give it a name so we know we, we know which one it is. Router zero interface gigabit zero zero this one over here IP address ten dot ten dot ten dot twenty dot two two five two that's good give it a notch down now let's go ahead to one and this one is going to be ten dot ten dot ten dot two 10.10.10.2 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, Now 
now let's go ahead to router one make this bigger host name router one interface gigabyte zero zero two five two and shut down okay did I do not shut down on yeah I did let's do it again not shut down so zero one this zero one not shut down okay I configure this one on the run interface so this one is supposed to be let's go ahead and fix that real quick 40.2 not shut down let's go ahead to this one this one is going to be 10.1 not shut down there we go now this IP address went up let's go ahead to router 2 Config to you, let's give it a host name of R2 interface give it zero zero IP address 10.10.40.1 10 10 and shut down. Now let's go ahead to give it zero one IP address 10.10.16.2 10 that two five two now shut down there we go now let's go ahead to router three config t interface gigabit zero one ten dot ten dot sixty dot one Now shut down. There we go. So that's good. Now let's go ahead to this side. Router four. Okay. Now config T. House name. R four. Interface Gigabit zero zero. IP address. Making a lot of errors, sorry for that. 10, that 10, that 20, that 1. Now shut down. Okay, now let's go ahead to Gigabit 01. IP address for that. Even though we can just go right here. And for this one, it's going to be 30.2. Now shut down. Let's go ahead to router five. Let's give it a host name first. Router five. Interface gigabit zero one. IP address ten dot ten dot thirty dot one. Dot two five two. Now shut down. And then let's go ahead to gigabit interface zero zero. IP address for this one is going to be fifty that two. Now shut down. Okay, now let's go ahead to router six, which is the last one. Uh, host name first. Always forget. Part of six. The first gigabit zero zero. IP address ten dot ten dot fifty dot one slash thirty. Here we go. So they are up and running. Now let's start with router zero. And let's configure for SPF. Router for SPF. Uh, let's have just one for all of them. It doesn't matter what number you give it okay because this number does not need to match like in ERGRP okay guys and let's go ahead and do network 
area so 10.10.10.10 .10 .10 .10 .10 .10 this one over here is going to be an area 1. The next one is going to be an area 0, which is 10.10.20.0. Okay, great. Now let's go ahead to other one. Exit, router, for SPF. 1, network, 10.10.10.0. A three area of one okay and now let's go ahead and add 10.10.10.10.40.2 10 10 10 10 this network over here two is going to be an area zero I mean not area zero area one so if we go to this one over right here and just put 40 now this one is in area one. Um, let's go ahead and fast forward. And here we go. When you fast forward, you can see that we have a neighbor relationship. I click on router zero. We have a neighbor relationship with this one over here. Two, router one. So that's good. Now let's go ahead to router two. Um, and do first we're going to exit out of here router or SPF 1 and let's add network 10 dot 10 dot 40 dot 0 3 area 1 and then let's add the other one which is that 60 to area 1 all right great let's go ahead to router 3 and do basically the same and go ahead to router or SPF 1 and let's go ahead and add network 10.10.60.0 10 10 3 area of 1 okay so that's good if we fast forward to make sure that this is correct correctly, correctly configured here we go we have a we have a neighbor relationship with 10.10.10.60.2, which is this router 2 over here. So that's good. Now let's go ahead to router 4, router OSPF1, network 10.10.20.0, 0 0.0.0.3. This is going to be area 0. And then 10.10.10.30, area 0. Let's go ahead and fast forward. There we go. We have a neural relationship with router zero. Now let's go ahead to router five. Router SPF one. Network's going to be 10.10.30.0. That three, area of zero. And we also need to add 50 to area zero. Let's go ahead to 6, router 6, exit, router SPF 1, network 10.10.15.0, 10 .3 to area 0, right? We can see area um, router 5 already have a neighbor relationship with router 4. Let's go ahead and fast forward. And now we have a neural relationship with router 6. So this is good. And now we need to see who is the, um, the DR and the VDR for each link. So if we go to router 6, let's start over here and show IP or SPF. Or SPF and from here, let's go interface. And let's take a look at this over here. So the designated router is 10.10.10.50.2. And the designated router is router 5. And the backup designated router is 10.10.10.50.1, which is 
router 6. As you can see, the state is PDR. Okay, now let's also take a look at router 5 and show IP or SPF interface. And what well, we can see from here that this is the um, let's see for gigabit zero one, right? The um, the scenario router is ten dot ten dot ten dot thirty dot two, which is router four, and we are the, the backup the scenario router for that link interface. You can see backup the scenario router ten dot ten dot ten. Um, 10.10.10.50.2 okay and what we could do is if we do let's go ahead to our three actually and go ahead and show IP route we can see over here that we have all these routes over here so we have a couple of IA and after the L which is OSPF and IA means that it is an area, as you can see right here, an OSPF inter area. Okay, so we should be able now to ping 10.10.50.1, which is this router 6. There we go, so we are able to ping that. Okay, and what I want to do is do a show IP OSPF interface. So you can see right here that we are the backup um, designated router for that. Okay, and the um, the DR for this link is let's see the designated router is ten dot ten dot ten ten dot ten dot sixty dot two which is router 2 but I actually one R3 to be the designated router and to do that what we need to do is raise the priority level okay because the priority level for all of them is priority 1 because that's the default for OSPF so let's go ahead to config T interface gigabit 01 Let's go ahead. IP OSPF priority, priority of ten, because it needs to be higher than R two for it to be um, to be the uh, designated router. So let's go ahead and do n, copy, run, start, and go ahead and reload this router. Let's go ahead and fast forward that. And we have formed a new relationship. After that, let's see who is the um, the the scenario router now. Show IP OSPF interface. And as you can see now, the designated router has switched to R3, which is the state of it is a DR the designated router, because we raise the priority of ten. Okay, and if we raise the priority. You will be, or you will become the designated router. And I also let's do the same for this one over here. Um, the state for this one is backup designated router, but I want this one to be the designated router. So let's go ahead and raise the priority. So interface gigabit zero zero. IP OSPF priority of ten, or even two, because it's going to be higher than one, which is a default for router five. Okay, and copy, run start, and then reload the router. Okay, great. Now we can see that we have a new relationship again. Let's go ahead and show IP OSPF interface. Now we can see that we, the state, is DR, which is the um, designated router for this link over here. And now R5 became the, the backup designated router. And it needs to be for gigabit 00. 
back up the center bar because the priority is one and the priority for this one is two and since this one has a higher priority this one will become the intercenter router okay so this is all for this video guys uh, I hope that you guys enjoy if you guys still not um, not really good at backup the scenario router and the scenario router you can go ahead and watch my video um, which is my the video before this one where I fully explain DR and BDR okay so thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one guys bye bye